Hey everybody, it is Justin, your guide into the other side. So I wanted to talk about Jarta Finance and lending and renting. Um, that'll be the main topic of this video. But first, I wanted to contextualize why. Um, okay, we got an update from Yuga Labs Gaming. The leaderboard has been updated, and you guys already probably already know this, but the top 400 spots are in each tier are eligible to get a seasonal catalyst, right? The creation catalyst. And catalysts are really important because they're going to be needed in order to evolve your Maras into Kodamaras, which is probably going to be important. Um, so outside of that, you know, depending on where you are on the leaderboard, you might be wondering without buying a Koda or buying more other deeds, like how would I increase my damage to try to breach into that top 400 spot? And my answer would be Jarda Finance, where you can rent out, you know, Kodas or weapon Kodas. That is an option. That is a solution that you could explore. Um, but I wanted to talk about that because uh, let's segue over to it, right? Need help to reach top 400 of the leaderboard. You can hire a temporary Koda or Mara to make sure that you get there. So I had a, I had a previous video, of which I will link in the description about how how to rent uh, how to how to rent out a coda or a um yeah how to rent out a coda but i haven't done anything on lending so we're going to talk about that in just a moment so if you have an unused coda um for some odd reason or you just want to get apecoin immediately then now would be a better time than ever in my opinion why do i say that Let's move over to the, okay, I promise I'm going to get to the, the tutorial slash talking points in just a moment, but it's important to contextualize it because over the past two months, the supply and demand have been increasing over the last two months. It's been like a slow roar as we get more information about, you know, seasonal catalyst, uh, you know, loot, um, you know, friends, et cetera, et cetera, right? So you might be wondering, what can I get for my coda or what am I going to pay for a coda rental, right? And if we take a look at the coda market, this, this piece here shows us that there are 48 regular codas listed um, for rent, right? But the caveat is that there are 48 active lists at 48 that are already being rented. So there's zero codas at the moment of this video that are available for rent, which is why I'm making a lending video because uh, <laughs> there's demand. Um, and in terms of price, the average regular coda price per hour is about 0.47 ApeCoin per hour. And for a weapon coda, it's it's about double. It's sitting at about 0.83 ape coin per hour. And again, there's only 21 listed weapon codas for rent, and there are only 20. There are zero because all of them are currently rented out right now. Um, and again, you can kind of do the math, especially if you have a coda that you want to rent out. You can kind of see, hey, over the duration of the end of the season, if I wanted to rent or rent or lend a coda out, you could just do the math and figure that uh, anyways i'm gonna move over to the more tangible uh leaderboards here um because this is kind of what you can expect to well maybe not expect but you can kind of do you can kind of see what the other lenders have uh, i guess accumulated in total uh renting for apecoin so essentially the top lender here has about 11 nfts rented and they've made about 4829 apecoin thus far um and then there are a couple of other uh wallets here as well uh shout out mnats <laughs> i see you um he has his i think he has like three codas listed for rent and i think currently is like a thousand apecoin but you can kind of see you know i think most of these are codas again jarda allows you to rent out you know coda or, or lend out codas odas other deeds as well as as maras but you can kind of see all of the total revenue in terms of apecoin for each wallet below but again i would i would tend to if you're lending i would probably do the math for that but anyways Let's talk about how it works, right? So whether you want to rent an asset or list your asset for rent, our platform can make it happen in just a few minutes, right? So as an owner, um, there are a couple steps of which I'll go into the detailed uh, steps below. But again, step one is selecting an asset you would like to rent out, right? So when you connect your wallet and if you are deciding to rent out a particular asset, uh, then you can choose what you want here when you connect your wallet. Um, and then step two essentially is the listing details. So you can define the duration rate range you'll allow and rental rate that you want to charge, right? So here you can kind of see, here's the price per hour that you can set. Um, again, I would reference the Dune analytics because that would show you like what the price at 
most people would rent it at. But um, you can also set the minimum duration of the rental as well, you know, from one hour being the minimum, and then you can set the maximum um, as an optional. But I would probably limit it to the end of the season because at some point you might want that back to kind of re-strategize and figure out. You might just want to reorganize things. But anyways, after you set your conditions for the price as well as the duration of the rental, you can, uh, the next thing is the authorized transfer. So you do have to deposit your asset that you want to lend into the JARDA smart contract, right? And I want to, I want to preface that the smart contract is audited by Hacken. So there's been two audits thus far. Um, I would definitely check that out in terms of security. You can always reach out to Pyrex or any of the uh, any of the team on Jarda for how the smart contract works, but definitely check that out as well. But essentially this step allows uh, or authorizes the assets transfer in your wallet, but it won't leave your wallet during this step. So this authorized, tran this authorized the transfer. So then the trustless smart contract can work. Um, so once you've done this after that, there is an option for self-delegation, right? So you can decide whether you want to self-delegate your whatever asset you're trying to lend out, whether that be a coda, a weapon coda, other deed, anything. So again, you'll not be able to, you will be, so if you opt to do this, you'll be able to use your Mara in Legends of the Mara when it's not being rented. Again, this will just cost more gas essentially for more stuff, but after this step, if you opt to self-delegate or not, the last step is the listing preview. So you will want to double check and approve your listing. So then you can sit back and earn from your assets rental. So again, you'll want to double check your price per hour. And you'll also want to check the duration that you have allowed it to go for. So again, this is just kind of how it works. This is kind of a brief, um, you know, step-by-step -step process on how everything goes. Um, but once you've done that, then your uh, Coda will essentially go on listing and it is possible to be to be rented out. So again, that's just kind of all I have. There is an FAQ here as well, as well as, you know, how, you know, more on how it works, you know, above. Um, but I would definitely check out the unused assets or the listings as well as the rentals. So if you are a renter, uh, I do have a code for you. I'll talk about that in just a moment. But again, I would check the audits as well. But all these things are really useful, especially as Legends of Amara becomes bigger and better. But anyways, uh, let's just talk, let's talk about the code. So if you are a new renter, if you have a new wallet and you want to try out Jarta Finance, you can use my code Justin 28 bonus, and it will be in the description. Um, and it will essentially give you a 20 ape ape coin rebate for any rental above five ape coin spend, right? So, um, if you spend five ape coin, then you get five ape coin back using the code. If you spend 15 ape coin, you get 15 ape coin back. Uh, if you spend up to 20, you get 20 ape coin back. If you spend over 20, then you just get the 20. But anyways, that's just something I wanted to share. Um, again, just wanted to kind of go over how rentals work. But again, you know, we're all trying to get to the top of the leaderboard here. And I'm currently sitting at 433 in turn. I don't think the scaling works out in my favor. But do check out Jarda. I'll have all the links in the description. Um, definitely hit that like and subscribe button because it helps me create more content. Um, but otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.